One of our engineering students graduated top of his class. He is smart, he is dedicated, he studies hard, but yet he failed the FE exam seven times before he passed it. But what's really interesting about Malik's story is that he passed his PE on his first try after studying only two months. Why is that? How can someone fail the FE exam so many times but then pass their PE on their first try? Well, when Malik was preparing for the FE on his eighth attempt, he changed completely his study habits and resources. Resources were the biggest one that really helped him not only pass his FE in five months, but also pass his PE in only two months. Over the years, I have seen students take this exam over and over again using the same old irrelevant resources that keep them stuck and stop them from passing the FE exam faster. After seeing a lot of students fail this exam, I really wanted to know why. Why are students failing this exam so many times? There are even students who give up on this exam for years before they try to take it again because they're just so afraid of it. They're afraid to fail. Now we have about 1,000 students in our courses and I speak to a lot of them, which helps me understand why students are not passing the FE exam in a reasonable timeline. And I came across some really interesting observations. Passing the FE exam has nothing to do with how smart the student is, or the student's GPA, or the amount of time and effort the student puts in. In fact, a lot of students will study for hours, do a lot of problems, and even invest in expensive courses and I found out that students, on average, would spend about $3,000 on the FE exam without getting any results. And when a student goes through this journey where they invest time and money and they see no result, it squashes their self-esteem, it demoralizes them and discourages them to keep trying. It's hard to keep studying and putting the effort and time when we see no result. And so if you have been in this journey for quite some time, or if you're just starting to study for your FE exam, today we're going to make sure that you are on the right track to passing your FE exam faster. So what we want to achieve is how do we make sure that the time and effort that we put in will get us to where we want in a reasonable timeline? That should be your primary focus because you can take this exam over and over again for years and eventually you will pass. But throughout those years, you will lose self-esteem and you will miss out on a lot of opportunities like raise, promotion, getting your dream job and getting your PE. So the goal is not when you will pass the FE. But the question you should ask yourself is when do you want to pass your FE exam? Maybe three months from now, maybe five months from now. But I am sure that all of you do not want to pass your FE exam three years from now. So how do you get there? How do you pass your FE exam in three or five months from now? Well, you guessed it. Resources. Studying exactly what's going to be on your FE exam that's what's going to help you pass your FE exam in the next couple of months. When we don't study the material that's on the FE exam, the time and effort that we put in results in a small linear growth. And as I said earlier, eventually you will pass your FE, but it's not going to be fast and you will lose a lot along the way. But when you do study what's exactly going to be on your exam, the time and effort that you put in results in an exponential growth and you pass your FE exam faster. And like our engineer friend, Malik, you might even pass your PE two months later. That's the kind of growth you want to pursue. You want to have resources that will help you understand the concepts where you can study less but learn more and pass your FE exam faster. 
a lot of times students will study the material that's not on the FE. And if you don't study what's going to be on your test, you're not going to pass. Now, the FE exam is constantly changing and you got to make sure that you are studying the material that will be on your test. That is the best way to prepare for it. So if you have been studying for the FE or if you just started studying for the FE, make sure that you have the right resources that will help you pass the FE exam in the next couple of months. You don't have to fail the FE four or five times before you pass it. If you want to know what resources Malik used to pass his FE exam, check out the details in the description below. Also, make sure that you guys check out our courses that has helped hundreds of students pass the FE exam faster. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah. Everybody now